हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑक्सफोर्ड रीडिंग सर्कल बुक एट एंड इन दिस रिगार्ड वी विल स्टडी चैप्टर वन विद द टाइटल पाउडर एंड आर्म्स सो वी स्टार्ट आर लेसन दिस इज पेज नंबर नाइन फ्रॉम योर बुक द हैजनिल ले सम वे आउट एंड वी वेंट अंडर द फिगर हेड्स एंड राउंड द स्टर्न ऑफ मैनी अदर शिप्स stones the rear most part of the ship and their cables sometimes grated underneath our keel and sometimes swung above us at last however we got alongside and were met and saluted as we stepped aboard by the mate mr arrow a brown old sailor with earrings in his ears and squint squint a quick look he and square trelawney were very sick and friendly but i soon observed that things were not the same between mr trelawney and the captain this last was a sharp looking man who seemed angry with everything on board and was soon to tell us why for we had hardly got down into the cabin when a sailor followed us captain smollett sir axing to speak with you said he i am always at the captain's orders show him in said the square the captain who was close behind his messenger entered at once and shut the door behind him well captain smollett what have you to say all well i hope all ship shape and sea worthy well sir said the captain better speak plain i believe even at the risk of offense i don't like this cruise i don't like the men and i don't like my officer that's short and sweet perhaps sir you don't like the ship inquired the square very angry as i could see i can't speak as to that sir not having seen her tried said the captain she seems a clever craft more i can't say possibly sir you may not like your employer either says the square but here dr livsey cut in stay a bit said he stay a bit no use of such questions as that but to produce ill feeling the captain has said too much or he has said too little and i am bound to say that i require an explanation of his words you don't you say like this cruise now why i was engaged sir on what we call sealed orders to sail this ship for that gentleman where he should bid me said the captain so far so good but now i find that every man before the mast knows more than i do i don't call that fair now do you no said dr lewisy i don't next said the captain i learn we are going after treasure hear it from my own hands mind you now treasure is ticklish work ticklish difficult i don't like treasure voids on any account and i don't like them above all when they are secret and when begging your pardon mr trelawney the secret has been told to the parrot silver parrot asked the square it's a way of speaking said the captain blabbed blabbed talk foolishly i mean it's my belief neither of you gentlemen know what you are about but i'll tell you my way of it life or death and a close run that is all clear and i dare say true enough replied dr levesey we take the risk but we are not so ignorant as you believe us next you say you don't like the crew are they not good seamen i don't like them sir returned captain smollett and i think i should have had the choosing of my own hands if you go to that perhaps you should replied the doctor my friend should perhaps have taken you along with him 
but the slight if there be one was unintentional and you don't like mr arrow i don't sir i believe he is good seaman but he is too free with the crew to be a good officer well now and the short and long of it captain asked the doctor tell us what you want well gentlemen are you determined to go on this cruise like iron answered the square very good said the captain then as you have heard me very patiently saying things that i could not prove hear me a few words more they are putting the powder and the arms in the forehold now you have a good place under the cab why not put them there first point then you are bringing four of your own people with you and they tell me some of them are to be berthed forward why not give them the berths here beside the cabin second point any more asked mr teloni one more said the captain there's been too much blabbing already far too much agreed the doctor i'll tell you what i have heard myself continued captain smollett that you have a map of an island that there's crosses on the map to show where trier is and that the island lies and then he named the latitude and longitude exactly i never told that cried the square to a soul the hands know it sir returned the captain levesy that must have been you or hawkins cried the square it doesn't much matter who it was replied the doctor and i could see that neither he nor the captain paid much regard to mr talnoni's protestations protestations and objection neither did i to be sure he was so loose a talker yet in this case i believe he was really right and that nobody had told the situation of the island well gentlemen continued the captain i don't know who has this map but i make it a point it shall be kept secret even for me and mr arrow otherwise i would ask you to let me resign i see said the doctor you wish us to keep this matter dark and to make a garrison of the stern part of the ship garrison a group of soldiers a group of soldiers manned with my friends own people meant having a human crew and provided with all the arms and powder on board in other words you fear a mutiny mutiny revolt sir said captain smollett with no intention to take offense i deny your right to put words into my mouth no captain sir would be justified in going to sea at all if he had ground enough to say that as for mr arrow i believe him thoroughly honest some of the men are the same all maybe for what i know but i am responsible for the ship's safety and the life of every man jack aboard of her i see things going on as i think not quite right and i ask you to take certain precautions or let me resign my berth and that's all captain smollett began the doctor with a smile did ever you hear the fable of the montane and the mouse fable short story with animals as characters you will excuse me i dare say but you remind me of that fable when you came in here i will take my wig you meant more than this doctor said the captain you are smart when i came in here i meant to get discharged i had no thought that mr talnoni would hear a word no more i would cried the square had levesy not been here i should have seen you to to the deuce deuce a playing card as it is i have heard you i will do as you desire but i think the worse of you that's as you please sir said the captain you will find i do my duty 
and with that he took his leave. Tell Oni, said the doctor, contrary to all my notions, I believed you have managed to do get two honest men on board with you, that man and John Silver. Silver, if you like, cried the square. But as for that intolerable humbug, I declare, I think this conduct unmanly, unsailorly, and downright un-English. Well, says the doctor, we shall see. When we came on deck, the men had begun already to take out the arms and powder. You hang at their walk while the captain and Mr. Arrow stood by super superintending. The new arrangement was quite to my liking. The whole schooner had been overhauled. Schooner, a type of sailor vessel, overhauled or repair to repair an engine. Six boats had been made a stern out of what had been the after part of the main hold and this set of cabins was only joined to the galley and forecast by a small passage on the port side galley a flat ship with one or more sails it had been originally meant that the captain mr arrow hunter joyce the doctor and the square were to occupy these six berths now Reed, Redruth and I were to get two of them and Mr. Arrow and the captain were to sleep on deck in the companion, which had been enlarged on each side till you might almost have called it a round house. Very low it was still, of course, but there was room to swing two hammocks and even the mate seemed pleased with the arrangement. Even he perhaps had been doubtful as to the crew, but that is only guess, for as you shall hear, we had not long the benefit of his opinion. We were all har hard at work changing the powder and the boards when the last man or two and Long John along with them came off in a shore boat. The cook came up the side like a monkey for cleverness, and as soon as he saw what was going, so he made, says he, what's this? We are a changing of the powder, Jack, answers one. Why? By the powers, cried Long John. If we do, we will miss the morning tide. My orders, said the captain shortly. You may go below. My man, hands will want supper. Eh, hey, hey, sir, answered the cook, and touching his forelock, he disappeared at once in the direction of his galley. That's a good man, Captain, said the doctor. Very likely, sir, replied Captain Smollett. Easy with that, man, easy. He ran on to the fellows who were shifting the powder, and then suddenly observing me, examining the swab. Swave, spin, axis or turn. We carried M ship. We carried M ships. A long brass nine. Hear you, ship boy! He cried, "Out o' that! Off with you to the cook and get some work." And then, as I was hurrying off, I heard him say quite loudly to the doctor, "I will have no favorites." on my ship i assure you i was quite of the squire's way of thinking and hated the captain deeply now come to the exercises a questions one why has mr Teloni hired the captain the ship and the crew answer mr Teloni has hired the captain the ship and the crew for a sh for a treasure hunt two why is the captain displeased? Answer. The captain is displeased as he does not like treasure voyages. 3. What suggestions does the captain make to Mr. Taloni? Answer. The captain suggests Mr. Taloni to put powder and the arms in the forehold and to give words to the four men coming along with him beside the cabin. 4. 
what would a captain and mr taloni have done if dr levasi had not been there to medi uh, mediate answer had mr levasi not been there to mediate the captain and mr taloni would have not undertaken the journey 5 read what the captain says to the narrator jim hawkins what does the captain think about the narrator answer he thinks the narrator to be a loose talker 6 make a list of the characters in this chapter make notes about what we learn about each one answer square taloni he is determined captain smollett dislikes trier voyages dr levasi practical and organized jim hawkins he is loose talker mr arrow a brown old sailor with a squint who is too free with crewmen long john the cook he is obedient Seven. Why do you think the doctor believes that the captain is an honest man? Do you agree with him? Answer. I think the doctor believes the captain is an honest man because he is very straightforward about his concerns. Concerns regarding how the ship should be managed. I agree with the doctor because he has been very direct in his conversation with the square. be reference to context read these lines from the story then answer the questions one neither did i to be sure he was so loose a talker yet in this case i believe he was really right a who thinks this answer dr levasi b who is so loose a talker jim hawkins c what has been talked about that should not have been talked about that they have a map of an island that there's crosses on the map to show where trier is d what does the captain fear will happen there would be an mutiny 2 Did ever you hear the fable of the mountain and the mouse? A. Who says these words and to whom? Doctor Levasi to Captain Smollett. B. What do the lines that follow this question tell you about what the fable's moral might be? The moral might be to exaggerate a small thing. See what had the captain intended to do when he first came up to complain to Mr. Taloni to resign from the voyage. Three, even he perhaps had been doubtful as to the crew, but that is only guess. For as you shall hear, we had not long the benefit of his opinion. A. who is this about this is about the arrangement of the boats and the hammocks b what is implied by we had not long the benefit of his opinion for a long time they could not know whether he liked the arrangement c which of these sentences best paraphrases the quote above one he might have had doubts about the honesty of the crew but he was gone before i could ask him he probably had doubts about the crew but i never got to ask him i didn't didn't get to find out his opinion of the crew before he left so number 3 i didn't get to find out his opinion of the crew before he left is the best paraphrases 
one of the best paraphrases see words and meaning one look up these words to find out what they mean a blabber blabber talking foolishly or excessively b chatter talk informally c gossip gossip casual conversations about other people d matter matter chat talk casually about unimportant matters e confabulate engage in conversation to use the words above in sentences that show what they mean blabber the man had the habit to blabber out all secrets chatter i was fed up i was fed up of his chatter gossip the woman indulged in gossip even without knowing the truth natter one must natter and not keep things within confabulate the students had to confabulate before coming to a common decision converse he must learn to converse with his employers properly e language old fashioned english one discuss what is meant by the underlined phrases in the sentences below a so who mates says he what's this it means to identify a specific person b we are a changing of the powder jack answers one it means we are changing c why by the powers cried long john if we do we will miss the morning tide it means a group of people who collectively hold authority d my orders said the captain shortly you may you may go below my man hands will want supper it means within a short time to desire for food e a a sir answered the cook and touching his forelock he disappeared at once in the direction of his galley it means to show, show respect to a senior in an old fashioned way f when you came in here i will stake my wig you meant more than this it means i will i will stake my dollar or reputation g doctor said the captain you are smart when i came in here i meant to get discharged it means you are intelligent to leave to write out the speeches above in standard english you may need to change much of the wording a who is this b we are changing the powder c why the employers d said the captain at once you must be hungry e the cook said respectfully f i can bet g you are clever you wanted to leave e discuss and write one do you think they will find the treasure what do you think the treasure will be what kind of treasure would you like to find for what amount of treasure would you give up your life as it is and set out on an adventure to seek it answer yes they will find the treasure it will be a chest full of gold i would like to find old coins i think i would go for the treasure of coins two what would life on a long sea voyage be like for a ship's boy what things would be good and what would be bad or difficult answer life on a long sea is filled with hardships sailors had to accept worst conditions diseases shortage of food and bad weather conditions 3 write a first person description of what it would feel like 
to discover a huge horde of treasure use vivid imagery and carefully chosen adjectives to describe the treasure its location and your feelings on discovering it the answer is as one day on a sandy beach a pirate in his huge ship landed on the shore as he was running frantically here and there he saw a cave as he moved to the cave he noticed a small ray of golden hue coming from inside the strange creature held his hand and dived straight into the circular pond taking him in along with him and what he discovered was incredible it was huge chest filled with ornaments jewelry gold coins and what not he felt excitement and lust for the same time thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like